1966, then 1967 was a nightmare. Ditterich was called up for national service, Stewart was sidelined after being involved in a car accident, and Ian Cooper was selected for Victoria only to withdraw after contracting rheumatic fever. Then there was the round five match against Carlton at Moorabbin. Just before half time, Fred Farrell, the famous St Kilda timekeeper, resorted to an old handheld bell to signal half time after the siren failed. As the crowd roared to field umpire Jeff Crouch to halt proceedings, John Gill of Carlton kicked a goal. Five points up at the break, it would be the final margin. The first of four straight losses. Then, seven straight wins culminating in this 63-point victory over Hawthorne at Moorabbin. Away by Dunshay. Dunshay uh, loses the run of it, and uh, it's Ross Smith in the play now, picking the ball up and cleverly getting out of trouble. Beautifully gives it across to Kevin Roberts, and there's a long kick by Roberts. It's a great kick, and it's a goal. That's Poole. He turns on his left and slams it out to the wide open spaces looking for a forward in Rod Olsen who's been moved from the half back flank to the half forward flank. Darrell Griffiths wins out against his opposition number 25, punches it about 20 yards downfield. And that's Angus falling over, he couldn't get his kick. Ross Smith uh, doesn't bother about a kick, he hand punches it to Roberts, gee he's played well. And Roberts' long kick gets it up towards the full forward zone, over the head of Cowboy Neal, he hasn't had a good day today, shoved in the back all over. by Dittrich, I think. Yes, it was. Good play, Carl. Kenny's going quick about it. The drop kick. That's not a bad kick, either. Up to where the big men are, and Bobby Murray's in front of them, and he can get off the ground like a spring heel jack to take a good mark. The last two years, Bob Murray's really developed and would probably be the best full back in the league, I'd, I'd say, at the moment. Here's Truck. There's another good player St Kilda have picked up this year too, believe you me. Beautifully balked in, as I uh, mentioned him. He gets the ball up to the half-forward line. Bremner comes out. You've got to go behind the ball. An easy one for Breen. St Kilda score now 11-10. Hawthorne, four goals, six. What a season. The last three rounds saw St Kilda lose to the top sides of 67, Carlton and Richmond, but a final round win over Collingwood at Moorabbin was not enough to push the Saints into the finals. If there was some selves for finishing fifth in 67, it was the performance of Ross Smith in winning the Brownlow medal. The third St Kilda win.